text, also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruit of the land, ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days, on the first day shall be a Sabbath, and on the eighth day shall be a Sabbath, Leviticus 23. 39 Commentary Verse 39 Also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, the month Tisri or September, the same month, and the same day of the month before observed, only another end and use of this feast is remarked, which was to give thanks for the fruits of the earth gathered in, as follows. When ye have gathered in the fruit of the land, the barley, wheat, oil and wine, and all others, this being now autumn. When the several fruits were ripe and gathered, ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days, not different from that before mentioned, but the same, one design of which is here suggested, to give thanks for the fruits of the earth, hence this feast is sometimes called the feast of ingathering, Exodus 23, 16 34, 22, as another use of it is after mentioned, to commemorate the children of Israel dwelling in booths in the wilderness. On the first day, shall be, a Sabbath, and on the eighth day, shall be, a Sabbath, because on both there was a cessation from servile work, Leviticus 23, 35, 36.